Welcome to the uh, Board of Selectmen meeting for July the 21st, 2015. Uh, let me first, uh, the Selectmen have a, uh, a proclamation, and probably this proclamation cannot do justice, uh, but we'll do the best we can for all that you've done uh, for the kids of Medfield uh, and for the residents of Medfield um, since 1964, right? Um, and therefore, um, the Board of Selectmen uh, like to read the following. Whereas, in March of 1964, Elizabeth T. Meehan was appointed a police matron for the Medfield Police Department. And whereas, in March of 1966, Elizabeth T. Meehan was appointed a traffic supervisor for the Medfield Police Department. And whereas, she served well and faithful for 51 years until her retirement on June the 23rd, 2015, and whereas, during that time, she was dutifully at her post, protecting the youth of Medfield as they crossed the heavy traveled streets of Medfield on their way to school. Generations of students grew up, always knowing that, no matter what, Elizabeth would be there to stop the traffic and guide them across the street. But more importantly, she was there each and every day with a friendly smile, words of wisdom, and when necessary, a bit of encouragement to get them through the often difficult times of childhood. And they never forgot. Those youngsters who years later would toot their horns and wave as they went by on their way to work, often after dropping their children off at school. Others, not fortunate enough to come back to Medfield as adults, would still recall how Elizabeth's de dedication served as an inspiration to them, both during their school days and later on as adults, inspiring them to get up each day and to go to work with the same fortitude that Elizabeth exhibited, regardless of the weather, the temperature, her health, or her responsibilities at home. She was always there, serving as a role model for young and old alike. And whereas, others too took note of her discipline and cheery dis disposition. Joggers running by would wave in recognition, knowing that their greeting would always be returned. Early morning commuters passing through town who thought they might occasionally fail to slow down or obey traffic signs knew better than to ignore Elizabeth's admirations, lest they be hauled over by the side of the road and given a lecture on traffic regulations and child safety. Mothers and fathers walking their children to school often stopped to chat with Elizabeth to find out what was really going on in town. Town employees driving by in the course of their work would always be recognized by Elizabeth, who knew them all by name. She was a familiar sight <clears throat> to postal workers, delivery men, and many others who had occasion to pass by in the course of the day. And whereas, Elizabeth T. Mann was always there for her fellow crossing guards, for the police, the fire, and the ambulance personnel, for the teachers, the aides, the secretaries, the maintenance staff, and the administration. To Elizabeth, it did not matter who you were or what position you held. She regarded everyone as an equal and a friend as long as you did the same. Therefore, now let it be resolved that on behalf of the school children and residents of Medfield, and on behalf of her co-workers, the Medfield Board of Selectmen extends its appreciation to her for all she has done to make Medfield a unique place to live and to work, and wish her much health and happiness in her retirement, and in recognition of her exemplary service the Medfield Board of Selectmen vote unanimously to declare July 21st, 2015 to be Elizabeth T. Mann Day in the town of Medfield and urge residents, fellow employees, and school children to join us in honoring Elizabeth T. Mann. Thank you, Elizabeth. Signed this 21st day of July, the year of our Lord, 2015, uh, at Medfield in the county of Norfolk, Massachusetts. Richard P. DeSauga, Chairman, Mark L. Fisher, Clerk, Asa L. P. Peterson, third member. Elizabeth, congratulations.
us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much. Okay. And that is for you. Uh, could, could I offer something, Mr. Chairman? Just give me one second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to see if she can introduce a uh, guest she has with us and maybe say a few words. But we also have something very special. Um, as town historian, I have sometimes the ability to find old photographs. <laughs> and we were able to put together something you probably recognize. Oh. <laughs> Back in 1966, yeah. that first batch of That's police. Right. Uh, yeah. Office is appointed by and then. She, uh, and she is not with us anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's in Florida. And uh, <coughs> she's in Florida too. Mm -hmm. And she's down the Cape. Yeah, we, just, we just hold up. We have a picture of uh, in 1966. And boy, do I love these uniforms. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't think you've no. changed at all. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Could, so could we much. have you maybe introduce uh, some of your family and uh, yeah, well, get, you know get you to use the, the mic only because of the oh. TV? Oh, You're just behind that. Okay. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. And uh, Okay, that's my husband. And then my dear friend for 55 years, Mary Solari, who also was a crossing guard for 55, uh, 45 years. Yeah. And then uh, my grandson. <laughs> my grandson, <laughs> and I call him Kalaman. Yeah. <laughs> and my daughter Rosemary, my son William, <coughs> and uh, Debbie Solari Bain, and uh, John Solari, and then well, Casey, yes, and her husband, and oh, Angelo. and Angelo. And his, <laughs> and his wife, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. And I want to thank everybody else for coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, Chief, uh, did you want to? I, I just wanted to show you how she got her training. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh geez, that, that is great. That is excellent. They have both of them in the same picture. There's a, a, a picture of both uh, Bill and Elizabeth, uh, both... Uh, in uniform uh, on at, at uh, Park Main, and Street. Main Street at the Park first place she worked, and there I was giving her instructions on how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> how do we know? I think how do we know she wasn't giving you instructions? I think she was giving you instructions. <laughs> <laughs> and she managed to do a good job in spite of your instructions. <laughs> Very, very nice. Very uh, no hats, no gloves. Nothing. 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 That is so good. Yeah. Thank you. I know. Uh, <laughs> this, this really is uh, an honor um, for, for several reasons. An honor for Elizabeth and, and the fact that Mary is here as well. I think it speaks the amount of people that work the longevity of those in Medfield is just incredible. Uh, for 51 years, for 45 years, we look at members of our uh, DPW, we look at teachers in the school system, we look at different people in town hall, and the number of years that are, they are here and serving Medfield, I think speaks a lot about uh, the quality of, uh, of service here in, in the town. So uh, Elizabeth, Mary, um, thank you so much for thank you. all the service. Uh, Chief Mann for all the service um, that you do and all you've done for the town of Medfield. So a round of applause once more. <laughs>